back to Dio's super fantastic show, a weekly show that for one reason or another you're currently watching, and for that, I thank you. On this week's show, I'll be giving you a sneak peek at a few of my upcoming super fantastic comedy music videos. We'll be discussing our web video of the week, along with some special announcements and some other funny shit. But first up, let's take a look at that web video of the week. Roll that discussable footage. Deal with Super Fantastic Show's web video of the week may be unsuitable for children and or may contain scenes of graphic nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Super Fantastic Web Video! What you see here is Panama City, Florida's school board superintendent, accompanied with his other school officials, on a typical boring school board meeting, until a gun-yielding Floridian named Duke walks in and decides to shake things up. Oh, uh, everybody in this room. That's right, Duke. Thanks to the unstable side of your gene pool, everyone in this room's day is currently fucked. You see, Duke is a disgruntled father with a can of spray paint and a loaded 22 pistol who just so happened to be in the neighborhood and has nothing else left to live for. I think it's a safe bet to say that Duke wasn't the brightest crayon in the tool shed, judging by the V for Vendetta on the wall, when only the mentally handicapped and the Asians actually enjoyed that movie. Hi, I'm a woman and I feel the need to grab my purse in life-threatening situations rather than get the fuck out of there. Hey, sir. John, John, just let him talk. He's, he's, he's talking. John, go ahead. Yeah, John, let the lunatic talk. Maybe he has a perfectly reasonable explanation for defacing school property. And who knows, maybe the gun's just a prop. Anyways, here's the favorite part of my video. Keep your eyes focused just over Duke's shoulder there in the background. Oh, way to save the day, A-Rod. You swing like a girl. And just like that, after a few short seconds on the ground, Duke shows his purse-swinging assailant some compassion and offers her a second chance to leave the room, only to be shunned at by a walking finger pointer. The balls of these women. Yeah, that's right. Keep it moving, sugar tits, before I put a bullet up your ass. Now, if you ask me, this woman's heroic act was hellaciously courageous. But not according to old Rick and Misty over at newsandbull.com, who had a little bit of a different opinion on the matter. Let's see what they had to say. He turned his back on these guys over here, and they just sat there like bumps on the wall. Yeah, didn't even get up. And and uh, this this school board, uh, this school board guy, the guy with the white hair, the superintendent, and you know he's probably making his couple hundred thousand a year, you know. Yeah. But uh, that goes back to what I've been saying all along for so long that America has become pussyfied. Pussyfied, America. And after a few brief moments of negotiation between Duke and the superintendent, a deranged Duke raises his 22 pistol and fires point-blank five shots at the superintendent and the school board. Listen, here's what I don't want to happen. I don't want anybody to, listen, just listen to me for a minute. I don't want anybody to get hurt, and I, I've got a feeling that what you want is the cops to come in and kill you because you're, you're mad, because you see you're going to die. But why? This, is, this isn't worth it. This is a problem. Please don't. Please don't. Please. <laughs> Shocking? Well, it would have been had somebody actually have gotten injured. Five shots, point blank, with a 22 pistol. Do the math. Carry the two... Yeah, that equals at least one heavily injured man. Way to go, Duke. Well, I do think it is safe to say that this remedial class Florida man deserved the bullet that he received in his head and back. But, kudos for the discussable web footage, and may God have mercy on your soul. Super fantastic web video. Spend all your time waiting for that second chance for a break that would... Hi, and welcome back to the program. If you're just joining us, boy, we have a special treat for you today. Wouldn't it be great to have all of your favorite comedy music tracks all put together on one compact disc, ready to play at the push of a button? Well, now you can with Dio's super fantastic comedy music CD. Now, I bet you're wondering, what would a guy pay for something like that? Three easy payments of 1995? Think again, pal. 
Soon, Dio's super fantastic comedy music CD will be available for free download, including free music videos. Who could forget such songs like Guitar Hero by Enrique Iglesias? Boy, that one brings me back. Or how about songs like Drunken Man by Jason Mraz? Oh, that one gets me right here. Let us not also forget Untasteful by Rihanna. There's a girl I'd like to kiss on the face hard. Kind of like that Katy Perry. I'd like to give her an Australian kiss. It's a lot of French kiss, but down under. Well, guys, we are all out of time. This week's show is coming to a close, but that leads me to my next topic. Currently, I'm looking for an acoustic guitar player for my comedy music project. The project consists of writing and recording our own material, as well as live performances throughout the state. So if you yourself play guitar, or if you know someone who might be interested, have them hit me up. I want to hear from them. But thanks again, as always, for coming out to the D.O. Super Fantastic Show, and I hope you had a great time. Rate, review, comment, subscribe, and touch yourself and explore your sexual nature. See you next time on the D.O. Super Fantastic Show. America has become pussyfied.